Some volunteers and workers with the American Red Cross are headed to the Houston area to help flood victims. Others are staying right here to train for emergency disasters in the valley. CBS 4's Tiffany Huertas has more from Los Fresnos. Every shelter dome is different. During today's training, not only did they learn how to register people, but they also learned the fundamentals it takes to run a shelter like this. Beyond these doors or beyond this place, there is no weapon. Yes. You're talking about residents or you're talking, not talking about everybody. People from all over the valley participating in a shelter preparedness course provided by the American Red Cross Tuesday. They're learning how to intake the information from the families, what the process is, the questions to ask, the documents to fill out. Even law enforcement taking in some tips while sharing ideas. What we're going to do is provide security on the outer perimeter and of the shelter. The training took place at this facility that sits behind Los Fresnos United 9th grade campus. The 20,000 square foot building serves as a gymnasium for other activities and a safe room for residents during county declared emergencies. What I find great about this dome is the size of it. Tammy Cowan got a taste of volunteering with the American Red Cross in the 80s. It was, you know, it was my community and so uh, it was very uh, personal to me. She remembers helping residents during the 1988 collapse of a building in Brownsville. What we did over those four days, um, it was a great community experience. She says having trained volunteers is essential for the continued success in emergency situations. American Red Cross officials tell CBS 4 News this is the first training in Cameron County this year. In Los Fresnos, Tiffany Huertas, CBS 4 News and ValleyCentral.com. The cost of the safe room was just over $3.7 million, of which FEMA dished out $2.8 million. The district share was $900,000. The district also spent another $500,000 to finish it out as a gymnasium. 